What's up, YouTube? Stack44 coming in with another video. Five types of finish line women. Before I get started, I'm going to give a shout out to all my new subscribers, all my regular subscribers. And if you're new to my channel, go on ahead that subscription button in the corner of your screen. Hit that notification bell as well. You get all my videos sent straight to your phone or your device as soon as I put one up on YouTube. But let's get right to this video. Five types of finish line women. Yes, I said finish line women. Let's just face it. I'm telling guys to plan purpose program, you versus you, stack attack your life, stack up your life. And I want that to have that those results to end in the finish line and be in the winner's circle. And while you're in that winner's circle, you're going to run into finish line women. These women won't want winners. They don't want losers. And it's tie, and and really the finish line women could be good or bad or whatever you may you know, wherever you may, uh, however may you may put me in your program. But let's just fake it. Face it. We are the gatekeepers of marriage. Women are the gatekeepers of sex. And at the end of the day, if you're a winner, you get to pick from a litter of the finish line women. And, you know, it's a lot of women that just stays at the finish line that are 95% women. And I ain't going to say you should be aware of these women. You should watch them out. But if you're watching my channel for a minute, you should know how to vet these type of women out. Now, it's the difference between a 5% woman and a 95% woman. And these women that's going to be at the finish line is going to be pretty much part of the 95%. You got to understand why you're running the race, how to find a 5%. But once you cross that line, you ain't got no woman, you're going to run into these type of women. The number one woman that you will run across when you cross that fence line is that Instagram model. Now, if you on your purpose, you making six figures, you a athlete, you a rapper, the Instagram model is going to be all in your DM, or you might even be in her DM. Or that That's what you deserve if you playing in professional sports or making six figures, or you're going to feel like it. So be aware of the Instagram model. I'm not going to go too far in it. I'm just being aware of which, you know, what's there for you when you are a winner circle man. So the Instagram model is my number one. Number two, the career woman, the woman that make a hundred thousand, just like you make a hundred thousand, she's going to be available for you as well. So you got to make sure you vet these women out right because at the end of the day, you got to have a plan, a purpose, and a program. If y'all going to be equally yoked or y'all going to have, or she going to quit her job, you're going to take care of her, what are you going to do? But that's that's going to be another choice that you're going to have as a career woman making just as much money as you or the potential to make the same money as you as well. Number three, you're going to run into a lot of single moms. There's nothing wrong with single moms at some point, but when you got everything to lose and you don't have no kids, I don't think a single mom's a good choice for a man that have no kids and she has kids or have a kid. So single moms will be at that finish line as well, wondering why you don't want to take me and my kids because you're the winner. And when you're the winner, you got your own choice and not no shade on the single moms. I'm just being aware of letting, letting guys know what's going to be at the finish line when they get to that you know, that top tier of your life. You're going to run into single moms. I ain't say all single moms are bad. Some single moms are ex-wives. So just, you know, vet them out, guys, as well. Number four, you're going to run into the sugar baby. At some point, you're going to run that race and you're going to just be a bachelor for so long. Then you're going to be 40, 50 years old. And then you're going to be like, damn, I want some young a young woman. That young woman come with a price, guys. No matter what what it is, at some point, young women come with a price. It might not be the price of, of money at, at the time. It may be a price of time. It may be a price of a kid. You might be 50 years old living your best life, and you might like a 20 to 28-year-old woman. But she might not have no kids, and she say to deal with her, you're going to have to marry her and give her some kids. So remember, as a winner, you're going to have to make that decision. Either you're going to give her the money or you're going to give her the, give her the family, one or the other. If you're going to go date all the way down, you got to understand that it's a price to pay when you're a winner circle man. All right, number four, I mean, number uh, five, last but not least, you're going to deal with unrealistic women, women that actually have the, the experience with dealing with the NFL, NBA players, you may be a six-figure guy. You may can't provide what they provide. They make six figures a week. So you're going to deal with an unrealistic woman that's been um, programmed and blueprint by a millionaire man. And 
a lot of unli unrealistic women been blueprinted. I mean, yeah, they've been uh, imprinted by dealing with guys like Floyd Mayweather or or just having those experiences and thinking they can get it forever. And sometimes these women need to, you know, get realistic. But unfortunately, unrealistic women that think they can have four or five different simps that's rich on their arm and, and they're going to they gonna come after you and saying you the same, you should be the same as this guy or do with this other guy. You know, man, we don't go back sexually. Women don't go back in lifestyle, especially when they experienced it. So that's all I really want to say on this video. I just want to give you awareness of the finish line women that will be waiting for you when you become that winner, when you're working on your plan, your purpose, your program, and you stack attacking your life when you get to the end of the stack attacking and the end of the experience. It never ends, but I'm just saying when you hit the peak of what you're trying to do as a man and have your man all the way together, you're going to see these type of women coming after you all the time. Trust me, I know I got professional friends that play professional sports, uh, friends that's rapping, even myself, you know, having my own home, having my body together, having even this channel sometimes, women chasing me over the channel. So this is what you're going to get when you hit the fence lines, man. But make sure you make the right choices and have the right discernment and pick the right woman you want. You really want women that's dealing with the race. Just like you guys that support my channel right now, you know, I only get uh, maybe 100, 200 views here and there sometimes in the beginning. Those subscribers, I'm going to remember. If if I ever blow up to the point that I'm I'm real high up in subscriptions, I'm going to remember the D. Flemings. I'm going to remember the Big Riches. I'm going to remember the Golden Childs. I'm going to remember the the uh, Moles, the, you know, everybody that support me, the Mikes, everybody that support me from day one. I'm going to remember you guys compared to remembering people that just jumping on, 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 on my ship because it's clout later. I'm always going to remember the first few subscribers I had, no matter how far this channel go off, guys. But that's really where all I want to say on this video is make sure you run your race so you can get to the finish line and be in the winner's circle. And I'll highlight you guys on the next video. Peace.